Hi, it's Simon here at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this stunning looking Volkswagen Beetle that has arrived in part exchange with us. Um, got quite a few little tasteful extras fitted to it. Uh, good history with it. Um, and uh, I believe it's two keepers from new uh, with a full service history. It has had a uh, recent DSG gearbox and fluid change done on it. Um, and has covered 60, 65,000 miles, I believe it is. We'll double check that on the video in a second um, from new. Um, it's in, I would say, very, very good condition for the age and the miles. Um, uh, coming pod exchange from a mature owner, uh, he has uh, tastefully updated the vehicle. Um, so we'll obviously um, point out the various bits and pieces as we go around for you. Um, so it is um, basically the base vehicle is a two litre turbocharged uh, DSG uh, Volkswagen Beetle 2013. Uh, it has had a remap on it, so previous owners told me it's remapped to approximately 270 brake horsepower. Um, got some stunning bowler uh, alloy wheels fitted to it, obviously rear spoiler, front splitter. It's got a custom rear exhaust system on it as the chap that owned it was a, an aluminium fabricator for a living. Um, so some really nice bits and pieces on it. As you can see, it stands out. Um, uh, it's a really uh, standout vehicle, isn't it? So let's have a look at it from a uh, condition point of view. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you are purchasing. Um, we tend to do uh, kind of um, spades a spade in our descriptions. So we'll show you all the minor little bits um, and you can make up your own mind. But uh, we'll start off from the roof. Obviously we have um, a whole stripe system from front to rear on this vehicle. Uh, so obviously starting off with your bonnet, up over the roof, and then down onto the tailgate. Um, starting up uh, on the roof, no damage to point out to you. It's all nice and tidy. Uh, front windscreen, no major stone chips to show you. In fact, I can't really see any stone chips full stop on there. Down onto the bonnet. A minor stone chipping on the bonnet, um, which there's the video, okay, from from this. Where am I standing? A meter away from the vehicle, so nothing that is major stand out. Um, but there are minor bits. If I video in, um, so we'll get some of these touched up for you, okay? Minor little stone chips, um, but you can't see them from a distance but I'm not going to lie to you and say that they're not there. Um, so we can get those touched in for you. Um, staying on the front end, both front headlamps are in good condition. Both front headlamps have these uh, little uh, covers fitted to them as well. And then looking down onto the front of the vehicle, as you can see, we have this lovely splitter that's fitted to it. There you go, the Maxton Designs front splitter. Um, it does add something to the vehicle, I have to say. Uh, it's a nice little styling cue there. As you can see, uh, we have both front fog lights, which are in decent condition. It has front parking sensors fitted to it as well as the rear parking sensors. Both front fog lights are in decent condition. Sorry, so mobile phone went off then. So let's, uh, front bumper corner, uh, as you can see, is in good condition. If I crouch down here and we'll start from the front bumper corner here and we'll look down the side profile of the vehicle hopefully you can see there's no dents or dings to point out to you it's in very good condition down the sides now as I say it's got these bowler wheels that are obviously an upgrade um, they are fitted with Sport three tyres, a uh, decent tyre they are. Wheels themselves, really minor bits of kerbing which have been touched in right on the edges. 
but uh, the wheels on the whole, I think, are in very good condition. Uh, last bit of Beetle branding going down the side of the vehicle. Mirror unit and indicators are all in good condition. Front wing, good condition. Passenger front door, all in good condition. If we look around by your door handles, behind the door handles, there's no bad scratching or anything from nails and rings. Rear quarter and rear quarter wings in good condition. Rear alloy wheel, again a matching Uni Royal tyre. Uh, rear light units, rear light units have a tint on them at the moment. Uh, obviously we can leave it as it is or if you don't want that on we can take those off. Rear parking sensors as you can see. Uh, down here we have a uh, rear diffuser. Say we've got that custom exhaust system. Um, it's actually quite nice as you can hear the vehicle's ticking over at the moment. Um, it's a little bit of a throaty sound to it, but uh, it's, it's not a loud exhaust system at all. Um, it's just what you probably want. Uh, Driver side rear bumper corner, all good. Move the fly on there, we'll pick him out of the way. There you go. Again, light units tinted. It does have a tint on the rear end. Got this uh, rear spoiler fitted to it as well. If I open up inside, uh, oh no, it's locked. Let's just open up the back end. So, rear handle for the boot is where the badge is. And if we open up the tailgate, so it's a particularly cold morning this morning. This is just steam coming off from a from a, a warm engine going into. Uh, I forget what the condition is. Everything's frozen over here this morning. So, but anyway, um, inside. Hopefully, you can see on the video. So, parcel shelf, carpet inside the boots. You've got a boot liner here as well. Uh, none of it is. You know, entry plastics going into your boot. It's all in very good condition. Looking down the driver's profile of the vehicle, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Again, alloy wheel, matching uni wall tyre. That gives you an idea of your tyre tread depths. They were all fitted at the same time. Drivers rear ring and quarter good, drivers doors all good, drivers front wing and again alloy wheel with your uni royal tyre fitted there as well. Drivers mirror units all good, mirror itself's all good. So drivers door card, nice and tidy and clean as you can see piano black trim running along the top of the door card We've got a bit of leather plastic going on entry step into the vehicle the painted entry step and the plastics are in nice condition uh, lovely leather trim with the sports seating there um, all in lovely condition we have electric heated mirrors over here and then nice piano black trim on the dashboard. We have a hard design, flat bottomed, multi-function uh, leather steering wheel there. Uh, and then controls for your stereo over there. And looking into the vehicle here, as you can see, I've got the, the heating going like the clappers this morning. There you go, one degrees outside. So, close that up, as you can see, 65,671 miles. No warning lights other than the fact that I've uh, got no seatbelt on at the moment. Uh, cruise control is on this stalk here. Uh, all your multifunction, so your multifunction here controls your computer system on here. And you can adjust various bits and pieces to do with the vehicle. Go to the service, let's have a look at the service info. So next service due in 8,300 miles or 228 days. And uh, these are all obviously your 
of the various settings on there. This bit here is all to do with your stereo system. So it controls your volume for your stereo. Uh, once your telephone is linked up to it, you can onto your telephone off here. And search controls are on here for your sound system. Um, over here we have a DAB uh, stereo radio. Actually is a CD as well. Um, so a nice kind of touchscreen system uh, with various bits and pieces. It does give you a Bluetooth phone uh, and I believe Bluetooth music on here as well. Um, so yes, once your telephone is all linked up, it will give you Bluetooth audio play off your telephone as well. Down here is your uh, digital climate control system. Uh, you can adjust it for each side of the vehicle or you can sync it so that you can control it all from this side. Your climate control controls will then flash up onto your stereo system here. Uh, you do have heated seats. Um, and then we have, as I say, front and rear parking sensors, hazard warning lights. We've got an auxiliary input down here. There's your DSG control, cup holders. We have a center armrest here as well. Uh, as I say, nice piano black trim with a little glove box in there. You've got, there's your um, uh, telephone stuff in there as well. You're locking wheel nutters in that bit. And then down here we have your book pack in there as well. In the lower glove box. At top of the dash, all in nice, clean, tidy condition. Your leather steering wheel's in clean, tidy condition. Uh, everything is cleaned and obviously at the moment it's sanitised etc before you take delivery of it. We have carpet mats in the front, nice aluminium pedals. I'll go round to the passenger side and opening up from the passenger side again, entry door seals are in good condition, your door cards on this side equally as good condition. So a nice bit of piano black trim, carpet mats, move my camera out of the way so you don't think I'm hiding anything, see side of your seats, leather seats, seat bolsters, everything's in really nice clean tidy condition, same with the rear seats, there we go. Um, there's sort of 30 to 40 photos, maybe even more than that, going live on our website. Um, if you require any further information, feel free to give me a call. Uh, I'm Simon, my company is Vans Today, based in Worcester, and you can contact us on 01905 672 080. You can email me at sales at vanstoday.com, and you can check us out on the internet on all the normal stuff. We are on Google, we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on LinkedIn. Um, so feel free to check us out. And uh, I'm hoping that is everything that you require. Um, thanks for looking at the video. If you got this far, you deserve a medal.